Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 1658 minimum operations to reduce x to 0. In this problem, we are given an integer array nums and an integer x. And we are allowed to remove values from either left or right. And as we remove these values, we are also going to subtract those values from the value of x. And we are going to find the minimum number of operations to reduce the value of x to exactly 0. And if we are not able to find those then we are going to return minus one so um, let us look at this example over here so we have one one four two and three and if we take the left sum only so starting from the left if we remove one then the value of five is reduced by one right so basically if we take the sum so one plus one is two and the value of x is reduced to three and then if we add a four to our sum which becomes equals to six now here six is greater than five so five minus six becomes negative and if we add more elements to this then basically we are going to make x more negative because like um the values are only positive integers so basically if we keep on increasing more uh, if we keep on adding more values then we are going to decrease this value so what we do next is since we cannot make it from the left we try to make it from the right so we take three and then we take three and two and the sum is equals to five right so three plus two five minus five becomes equals to zero so we got our result which is the number of steps equals to two right um uh, similarly we can also take three and one one but what will happen is in that case our number of steps will be equals to three but we need to minimize the number of operations so that is why we take the minimum number of operations which is equals to these two values right so um in this case we are not able to find the value of uh, four because basically as you could see all the values are greater than four so we will not be able to solve this problem so we return a minus one and in this case we have the value of x equals to 10 so the value of x can be x equals to 10 can be reduced to 0 by taking these two elements from the front and these three elements from the last so that will be equals to 10 now let's see how we can solve this problem so we have been given this example and how can we solve that so using the brute force approach what we can do is basically we can take the prefix sum and suffix sum so prefix sum and both the suffix sum we take the sum from both the left towards the left and towards the right so this will be the prefix sum and this will be the suffix sum and we add this sum and if we get the value of x equals to zero uh, like if we can reduce the if we get the sum equals to x then basically we have found our solution right because the sum uh, basically the sum should be equal such that x minus sum is equals to 10 right i mean is equals to 0 that also means that x is equals to the sum right so to take the prefix sum what we do is we start from um no values on both the uh, sides and then we take individual values and basically we take each of the prefix sum and also we take each of the suffix sum and we try to find uh, all the combinations and try to find the sum such that this condition is fulfilled so um basically in this approach what we are doing is we are doing n squared time complexity how is that is since we need a prefix sum so we are going to find the prefix sum for each of the elements right for three and for three two three two twenty so basically we are going to do that for all the n elements and similarly is the suffix sum also for all of the n elements and between these two we are going to find the combinations the best combination which gives us um this sum right so in that case it would be of n square time complexity um and basically we can achieve that by also using a, a backtracking recursive algorithm so what we can do is we can create a function um, we can create a function where in the function we are going to perform our backtracking to the left so we are going to take the left pointer and right pointer 
end um, left would be equals to zero index and right would be the end of the value and left uh, would we would always keep on increasing the left and we are also going to perform the recursive function from the right as well because we want to traverse we are actually able to remove elements from both the left and right right so if we are traversing across left then we are removing elements from the left if we are traversing across right then we are removing elements across from the right so if we are taking this example then we start from the value of 3 and we reduce the value of 3 from 10 so we get the remaining value equals to 7 and then again we keep on adding more because since this is a recursive function we will we are going depth first so we are going towards the left only right so we add a 2 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 which is again less than uh, which is again less than the value of x that is 10 so we increase the value um, and now we have the sum equals greater than x right so what we do is we backtrack to our its previous calling function which is 2 and then what we do is now instead of left we go to the right the right branch basically so that would be 3 so 3 2 plus 3 which is equals to um 8 right and 8 is less than 10 so what we do is we take the next element uh basically what we are doing is in the backtracking algorithm we started from 3 we went to 2 we also went to 20 we backtracked to 2 and then from 2 we go went to its right right now from 3 what we do is we go again to the left over here so right would be at this position but left is again at this position since this is greater we backtrack to 3 again right we are backtracking to three and then we are going to its right branch again this position has a left branch and a right branch right left is at this point and right is at this point so it goes to the right left branch again left is greater so now what it does is it goes to the right branch and now right branch now the sum becomes equals to 10 right so since we found our sum so we know that would be the minimum steps because the first value we would get is the minimum so that is that would be the number of steps and we would return the steps so um uh, so this is how we can solve this problem and every time what are we doing is we are making two uh, uh, steps right so for this one we are going to the left and also going to the right for this we are going to the left and also to the right um, and similarly for this one we are going to the left and also to the right branch right so each node has two branches left and to right left and right and we are making decisions to go to the left or to the right so in this case our time complexity becomes 2 to the power of n so we can we have actually uh, optimized n squared solution to 2 to the power of n right but um, here uh, what we uh, you can notice is that basically you uh, what's the problem is that in javascript it doesn't actually allow us to perform backtracking solution i don't know why because the same approach uh, it's accepted in other languages like java um, and in javascript actually the backtracking approach is not accepted and i am not sure why and if you want to look at my solution for backtracking problem you can just go over at my proof um go over here and see see my solution and also you can also see the uh, error that i'm getting and i'm not sure what this error is but if you are able to find out then please let me know in the comments down below so okay since backtracking algorithm is not working and also the time complexity is two to the power n so can we optimize it even more yes we can optimize it to solve this problem in o of n time complexity that is linear time complexity so how can we do that so let's take this one again so the same example now what are we going to do is we are going to think in a reverse order so here uh, we are we were actually asked to find um, 
left remove the left and right values right and uh, the sum should be equals to 10 since we are removing this left value and right value and the sum is equals to 10 then the complement of this which is the value 20 over here is um the complement of this right so basically if you look at this whole thing this whole sum which here is equals to 30 and instead of finding x we would basically find our new target value which is equals to 20. so uh, for that case um, then what can we do is we can actually use sliding window approach to find the sum of the window to be equals to 20. so what would we do is we would start from the left and right pointer and both would be equals to zero so starting from the zeroth index left and right pointer um the current sum is equals to three and current sum three is less than our target sum right so what we do is we increase our uh, window so now our left uh, left pointer is pointing at the same value but our right pointer increases um, and now our sum is equals to 3 plus 2 which is equals to 5 5 is still less than our target so we want our sum to be equals to target right so what we do is we increase our right pointer again now right pointer is at this point now our total sum is 3 plus 2 plus 20 which is equals to 25 and now 25 is greater than target right since 25 our current sum becomes greater than target what we need to do is now we want to reduce this current sum because we want this sum to be equals to target so we have to reduce this sum to reduce this sum now what we do is we reduce the size of the window so to reduce the size of the window we increment the uh, left pointer so now our left pointer points to index number one okay now the sum is equals to two plus 20 which is 22 which is still greater right so what we do next is we again increment the left pointer now both left and right pointer are pointing at the same point which is 20 and the current sum of this window is equals to 20 since 20 is equals to our target value then what we know is now we found our um result the length so this length is the length of the target value which is equals to one right we found our length now what would be the length of our uh, result x right that would be the complement of this whole uh, this value right since our target is the complement of x um the result of this also should be a complement so that would be equals to n minus one which is the length of this target right and n is equals to the sum of our nums array so that would give us the uh, length of our value x um okay so this is about this solution okay um i'm also going to take this example and try to show so you um what one problem can we have because in this problem we are asked to find the minimum number of operations to reduce x right so since we are now finding the number of operations for our target here in this case our sum is equals to 10 so our target value is equals to 5 um okay uh, i would just change my sum to be equals to uh 11 all right so in that case our target value be equals to six just in just so that you don't get confused because i want to clarify one thing over here because we have been asked to find the minimum number of operations to reduce x so to find the minimum for x we want to find the maximum number of operations to uh, find the target right because since both of these are complements so minimum of these would be maximum of this since um uh since like our target value is equals to the total sum minus x right and we want the minimum of these and to minimize this we want to get the maximum length of this okay so for that what are we going to do is our target sum is now equals to six okay so uh, we start from our left pointer which is now equals to uh, our sliding window of uh, length one 
and the sum is equals to 2 so we increase the window now our sum is equals to 5 we want to increase the window now our sum is equals to 6 now since we found our sum the, the length over here is equals to 3 right this is the maximum length so far for our target we want to maximize that and maximum length so far is equals to 3 now we increase our uh, window again now our sum becomes equals to 7 right now since it is greater than um, our target value 6 we are going to reduce the uh, reduce the sliding window and now our sum becomes equals to 5 now we want to increase the sliding window size now in this case our sum becomes equals to uh six right and here our size is equals to four the length is equals to four and so far our maximum length was equals to three so what we do is we update the maximum length to be equals to four so in this case we got a maximum length and we keep on actually doing this um again so um since our size was now we increase the size once again and now since our sum is greater than the target value so we now decrease the uh, window size so our window size so far now becomes equals to this and the sum is equals to six again the length is equals to four again and four is still the maximum length so basically this is what our result is so we want to actually find the maximum length right and as we found our maximum length we also found our minimum length for x right and to return that we would return the result as n minus maximum and this would be our result so i hope you understood my example and my explanations now let me dive into the coding part and i would also i'll also be explaining you while i am coding so first of all we need the length of our array and we are also going to uh, need the sum so let sum equals the i'm going to use the reduce function to calculate the sum so a b a plus b gives us the sum and now we are going to find our target okay so our new target is equals to sum minus x and to find the length of the target we want to find the max length right so we are going to initialize it to minus one and not zero why not zero because we can have nums array uh with the values equals to these okay and if our value of x is equals to 6 then what would be the value of y the value of y i mean the value of our target would be equals to the sum which is also equals to 6 minus the value of x the target would be equals to 0 and um, as we start from left and right since like we would not get any window length right so the window length for this target would be equals to zero so we want a value so that we do not confuse this window length to uh, the operations that is when we do not find the value because here we are finding the length of x right here length of x is equals to three that is the length to reduce x to zero is equals to three right um but there might be the case that we do not find a result at all let's suppose we have the value too so in this case we are not going to find the result at all right but our target is equals to one in this case so since we did not find our target the length is, is still equals to zero right uh, maximum length um would still be equals to zero so those two two just like uh, those two different cases would collide so just to distinguish that what are we going to do is we are going to initialize our maximum length to minus one so that um, we are actually able to find the length of our maximum length to be equals to zero because there can, there might be a case when maximum length is equals to zero right if this was equals to one and the uh, value of x equals to zero so that is why max length equals to minus one okay and now let um we are going to define left equals zero and also right value equals to zero now starting from our right 
right should be less than the value of n and we are always increasing our window size okay and here what are we doing is we are reducing the value of target because we are increasing as we increase the window size we are going to decrease the value of our target as in this case or we can just yeah I'm just going to use a current sum instead. So let us use current sum equals zero. Okay, so now initially our current our current sum initially would be uh, keep on increasing as we add elements to our um, window so since we are adding our right pointer element we are increasing our current sum okay so now what we also need to do is we also need to check if current sum is greater than target and what we do, did we do we reduce the window size right because we want the current sum to be close to target so if current sum current sum is equals to target I mean if current sum is greater than target then what are we going to do is we are going to reduce our um, size so we are going to remove we are going to move our left pointer and as we move our left pointer we also want to uh, on remove that element from our current sum right so we are removing our left pointer and one more thing to notice is that um, this current sum could still be more than our target so we want to uh, perform this operation as long as our current sum is greater than target so instead of if we are going to use while loop and we also need one more condition here to make sure that left doesn't go out of bound so left should always be less than or equals to our right pointer okay and here we are going to check if our target meets the current sum value and if both of these are equals that is when we are going to calculate the max length so max length would be the maximum of max length and the current length so that would be left plus one okay and once we have the current sum the maximum length um finally we are going to return return we are going to compare our max length okay our max length may not have changed we might not have found our target at all so in that case our max length would still be minus one so if it is minus one that means we did not find any value so we are going to return minus one else we are going to reduce the max length value from our uh, length of the nums and that would give us the minimum number of operations let's try to run this code and check if it works okay one mistake over here is that i am reinitializing right and here as well okay let's submit this great so the time complexity for this solution is o of n and the space complexity would be um, constant space complexity so i hope you liked my solution please let me know in the comments down below thank you